طيب this is the fourth question سؤال الرابع يا شيخ حفظك الله إذا وضعت إذا وضعت المرأة مكياج مضاد للماء ثم توضأت هل وضوءها يجزي أو هل عليها أن تزيل المكياج كليا قبل الوضوء؟ The question is asking that if a woman she puts on makeup and this makeup actually in itself is it doesn't allow water to penetrate into the skin uh, so and if she does her ablution or wudu thereafter uh, is her wudu correct and then she says or is there is it upon her to actually remove all of the makeup altogether before she makes the wudu يا بنتي بشروط الوضوء الصحيح إزالة ما يمنع وصول الماء إلى البشرة كالطين والعجين والزيت فإذا علق بعضو من أعضاء الوضوء ما يمنع وصول الماء إلى البشرة وجب إزالته أولا قبل غسل العمو فإذا زال هذا المانع من وصول الماء إلى البشرة غسل العمو وننبه إلى أنه ينبغي إزالة ما يمنع وصول الماء إلى البشرة قبل الشروع في الوضوء حتى لا تختل الموالاة بين أعضاء الوضوء ويا بنتي بلغ أخواتك من السلام وأن يجتنبن الزينات المحضرة كالمكياج فإنها لها آثار سلبية على الجسم وعليكن بالأشياء الفطرية التي لا تضر بالجسم تجمل المرأة المتزوجة أو إذا حضرت محفلا نسائيا أمام رفيقاتها ولا تحدث آثارا سلبية على الجسم فتغير خلقتها أو تشوه خلقتها هذه نصيحتي لك ولجميع بنات جنسك. In answering this question, this fourth question, the Shaykh Abu Dhabi said, from the conditions of wudu, correct wudu, is that you should remove. Anything that doesn't allow the water to reach the skin. So, for example, removing uh, soil or removing yani, dough or removing oil. Uh, all of these things should be removed. And the Shaykh, then the Shaykh Abdullah, he said, this is yani, before actually doing the wudu. Before actually doing the wudu, yani, you should remove anything that doesn't allow the water to reach the skin. Uh, and then uh, the Shaykh Abdullah, he said, once that has done, once that is done, then you actually perform the wudu. So we want to clarify this further and say that before you actually do your wudu, before you actually do the, the, uh, the actions of wudu, first and foremost, remove these uh, uh, things that do not allow the water to penetrate the skin. Why? For the reason of not making the, yani, for, for the reason of not uh, uh, contradicting the order that one should wash, uh, the, the, yani, the order of the parts that, that should be washed in the wudu. So the order that should be used, so it doesn't get confused. So wash these things off first and then actually uh, perform the wudu. And also, I'd like to advise you uh, by saying, uh, 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 Yanni, uh, uh, if you can, reach out to your sisters as well. And that is that we advise them by saying the, that they should leave off and be yani, far away from using these types of uh, yani, cosmetics, which actually 
are harmful to the skin. And we advise them that they should use those natural cosmetics, those natural cosmetics which do not harm, which do not harm. And also, uh, yani we advise away from these type of uh, uh, cosmetics which, pe- which the women, some women wear, be- such that it doesn't actually leave off these bad marks, yani, the bad marks of uh, affected one's skin, and also such that it doesn't uh, uh, yani, make the person change the creation of Allah by using these types of cosmetics, and also uh, to the extent that they dis- disfigure the, the uh, appearance.